To begin your soap dish trinket tray, you are going to first need to create a template. So you see that there will be two different sizes that you can choose from. They're the same amount of clay, but the dimensions are a little bit different. So here we have a square shape that you can choose from or this rectangular shape. It doesn't matter. It really just depends on what the vibe you're going for is. So the important part though, is that our piece of soap, when it is finished, can sit on our clay piece, okay? So when we do this, whatever you decide to do, so I'm gonna do two designs here quickly. So I want this one to kind of be like an organic blobby shape. What you'll notice is that I am trying to use as much of this space as I can, okay? So try to touch all of the edges. Now it doesn't need to touch the edges everywhere, but it needs to take up that amount of space, all right? So from here, I could go ahead and cut this out, and then I just got a picture. Will my bar of soap fit in that area, okay? Um, so let's say you want to do something more circular, or maybe you actually want to do a square, or maybe you want to do something that is like heart shape. This is what you would want to use this, um, the square would probably be the better option to use, okay? If you want something more uh, geometric to fill up that space, okay? So maybe you do want this one to be a heart design. If that's the case, do your best to touch all the sides there. so that it fills up the space. We don't wanna do something like this, because eh, obviously our, um, our piece, will our piece of soap will not fit on that area. Okay, the next part here, go ahead and cut this out. Okay, from here, you are gonna get your piece of clay. You're gonna use the slab roller to roll out your piece. You will notice that one side is nice and smooth. The other side is gonna have a little bit of texture from that canvas. So we need to make sure that everything is smoothed out. So before I get going here, I'm not trying to create extra work for myself. So this has a lot more than what I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to trim all of this off ball this up and I'm going to put this in, um, I'm going to put this back away in the extra clay bag. Okay. So I am going to take a smooth rib tool, smooth rib tool, and I'm just going to carefully smooth this out. Notice I have a little curved area here. And it doesn't help hurt to go ahead and do this on the other side as well, just to get any of those imperfections out. All right, so from here, you are going to take your paper stencil that you have made. You're gonna set it on top so that it fits. And what I would recommend doing is just kind of lightly trace around first. Don't go ahead, don't cut around quite yet, because if you make a mistake, um, if we make a mistake now, if I just am not carving in very deep, I can just rub over top of it. Okay, you can use a pencil for this, any other tool that will cut through. Okay, so once you have this part of it going, um, you can go ahead and fully cut this out. Now. There's one exception to this. Let's say, I'm just gonna move this to the side. Let's say you want to create texture on your piece first. So if you wanna add texture onto it, it is best to add the texture first and then cut it out. So that's gonna be a personal preference to you. So for instance, we have lots of different ways that we can make texture on our pieces using stencils, using stamps, um, even some of the clay tools in here. That is something that you will want to explore a little bit with. Like, hey, maybe I want a design like this. Use a different tool. Um, 
maybe you're kind of going for a polka dot vibe and you want to have the back of a marker, okay? Those are the things that you need to experiment with. I have some really cool clay rollers that create cool textures, different stamps that you can experiment with, okay? So if you're not sure if you want to create texture on your piece first, I would experiment with this first. So then after you have, and obviously this is too thick, but then after you have all that texture put on it, then you would grab your stencil and you would cut it out, okay? So it just depends on what you're doing. So I'm gonna get my other one back. Because for this one, I do not want, for my design, I don't want texture on it. Okay, so I have that there. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all the way through. Ball up this extra clay, put it in an extra clay bag. All right, so now from here, I have my shape. This is where you need to make any adjustments. If you need, if you're like, oh, I want this to be carved out a little bit more, make sure to really define that shape. So you will see that after cutting that out, there are, I don't know, kind of these little sharp edges that we need to clean up. So what I would recommend doing is taking a small sponge, getting a little bit of water, and you have to make sure we do not want this sopping wet. You need to squeeze it out fully every single time that you use it. And then you can just kind of use this to smooth out those edges. If it gets too sopping wet, we're gonna have problems. So just lightly do it. You shouldn't have to um, dip that sponge in the water more than one time. Okay, so once I have that ready to go, this is kind of going to be our um, our stopping point for this first step, okay? If you've added the texture on it, you'll have to be careful how you go around the edges, but we're going to be doing something that is called a slump mold, meaning we want it to kind of fill the shape of another object. So you're going to have different options. So you see we have this little like bowl-like situation, or we have a bowl like this. So I want my piece of clay to kind of be flat, but have um, a little bit of some curved edges. So I'm actually going to use this to help me do that, okay? So, but once again, it still needs to be flat enough that a piece of soap would fit inside of it. So you might have to play around a little bit with some different objects and some different forms. I'll have some different options for you. So basically when it dries a little bit, I want this to kind of be sitting up like this, okay? Um, another option to do this is we could stuff like little pieces of newspaper or paper underneath to have it sit up the angle that we want it at, okay? Um, if we were just to leave it flat like this, it's gonna break, okay? So that's why um, you're gonna have to choose your eventual shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna leave mine like this and I'm gonna put it inside a bag and we will talk about um, next steps in the next video.